Welcome back to another video. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the Lego brand store here. Recently, we visited the Water Tower Place Lego store in downtown Chicago, and we saw this set. We decided that we had to pick this up for our Lego city, which at this point is still kind of a village, I guess because who doesn't need a Lego store in their Lego city? If you missed that video, I'm going to put a link in the description down below. So be sure to check that out for where we picked this up at. So this version of the Lego brand store released in August of 2022, and I believe it is a Lego store exclusive. This set has 541 pieces. And if you were wondering if you were going to try to buy it on BrickLink or a second hand seller, the set number is 40574. So let's get into some of the really good positives of this set and show you all everything that we loved and some of the things that we didn't like. So let's start with a look at the minifigures. This set comes with two minifigures included, neither of which are an official Lego store employee. Maybe they're just huge Star Wars fans and they're on their way to go pick up a new May the 4th Star Wars set. I don't know, just saying. Anyway, the first figure we have here is the mother. She has a simple floral top with a jean jacket and that does have print on the back. Her figure also has bright colored coral legs and she has a dual printed head one is where you can see her smiling and the other print shows a very excited joyful look the other figure is presumably her son he's got a cool blue techie shirt with a bright green jacket on over the top he does have only one facial print for his head however he does come with the short um, not bendable legs which is kind of cool those are a little bit more rare in terms of minifigure parts. So moving back to the actual set itself here, it's you can see it's sort of small, um, but again, this set retailed for $36.99. I want to get into a lot of the positives here and then some of the negatives. Um, so right away, some of the things that really stood out to me about this set were the real world Lego elements that you would see in a Lego store. For example, we have a minifigure factory similar to like the build a minifigure stations we have the pick a brick wall that has every single little color that you can imagine to pick out your little pieces like we have done in the past uh, check out our other videos for videos where we visited a lego store to do a pick a brick wall there are elements in this set that show the actual sets for purchase at a lego store which is pretty cool there's ninjago there's city there's duplo there's Technic, Creator, Friends, Ninjago, all the all those sets. I don't know. I might have already said might have already said Ninjago. I don't know. There's actual like display elements in this set too, which is pretty cool. You can see in the front there's a Disney castle and a train here that are micro builds. And then also there are different displays that allow the minifigures to look like what looks like a giraffe and I think a fox maybe. Um, but I like how a lot of these elements are an ode to like the different things within the actual store, which is pretty cool. I did like the way that it's pretty simple. It's like gray and yellow and white, and I really enjoyed that. Um, I did like the playability of this set. So for example, right here, right? This is a modular technically, right? So this detaches from the top. You can see that it's got the different studs that you can put the set on top or the different floors on top of each other and they just connect like that oops I put that on wrong um, they connect like that and then also the backside swivels and hinges open to give you a little bit better access to the center another thing that I liked was a, these elements in the front that show like a city block or a street block like a front of a like tall building the scale is really really well done for a minifigure i think does a really good job compared to some of the other lego store sets in the past there have been other lego store builds that have been semi like micro builds and they don't necessarily do a good job of showing scale for the minifigures there have also been some like really big ones there was one that was like a bricklink creator or bricklinks a bricklink designer program set so i think this one does a really good job in total of displaying 
how a Lego store should be. Um, but there are some things that I didn't really like with this set. So let's get into some of the negatives about this set. One of the biggest issues I have with this set is it feels like it lacks completion. And what I mean by that is I mentioned that this set is technically a modular building, but it is completely missing the entire backside of the upper floor, which for a playability standpoint is pretty cool. But at the same time, I wish they would have gone an extra length to make it so that you could close it or maybe have a roof. They include these details for you to have the foundation to build your own store or build on top of this. They don't give you any insight to like, here, just do it within the set. It's all kind of set up for you to do it later on after you purchase your own parts or whatever it may be. But it just doesn't feel complete in that regard. I really wish that the store had a Lego employee. So for example, if one of the minifigures were to purchase a Lego Ninjago set or that Star Wars set that's coming out soon. They can't. There's no Lego employee to check them out. They just, you know, scan it and walk out the door. No, that's not how a Lego store works. I feel like that would have been a really cool addition to a set that would have given a little bit more Lego feel to it. In regards to the modularity too, I do feel like part of that is because of the hinging elements, right? Because if you have these hinge hinges, you can't add a top unless you have the top hinge as well. I um, mean, at that point, I almost wish that it didn't hinge and it would have just been closed and then you have this ability to re remove the top. Like, I still think that that's a pretty viable solution to see all of the details. That's not any different than a regular modular building that we have today. I just feel really indifferent about having this be closed or open, I mean, because I understand both sides of it. Like it's cool to be able to see that details of the bottom floor, but then they have the hinge or it's like, okay, don't give us the hinge and then give us the modularity of removing the top. It just, it just doesn't feel complete. So with that, I have already completed the design that I'm going to do for the back to enclose it and the roof on Bricklink Studio. So hopefully we'll order those parts soon and probably not going to show those off, but that is a project that we have in our backlog. One last negative that I have with this set, and you guys all knew it was coming, were the stickers. So this set has 40 stickers. Yeah, that's quite a bit, especially for a set that's, you know, 540 pieces, 40 stickers. The issue that I had with the stickers, and I'm not typically one that complains about stickers, like it is what it is. It keeps the cost of a set low. And typically I, you know, try to be pretty good about the stickers, but most of the time there's a, like a pretty good sweet spot for how, how big a sticker should be to make it easy to be placed. This set completely misses that mark. Like you have these giant stickers that are super hard to place. It's incredibly difficult to line up every single corner of these large, I don't even know what these are, six by six tiles or plates. I don't, yeah, they're tiles. I mean, I did it, but it's difficult. All of these one by two tiles, every single one of those sets, it's super cool when it's done, but it is incredibly difficult and time consuming placing each individual sticker on each set. Like I said, it looks cool. It's just frustrating. And I'm not gonna go into a ton of detail on this. I'm gonna give Lego the benefit of the doubt here. Usually they're pretty good about including stickers and sets to keep the cost of the set low. This set would have been maybe a $50 or more if they would have all been print. So I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. And also in recent years, again, this set released in August of 2022. In recent years, they've been pretty good about including more print pieces than stickers. So. In this regard, that's why I put it last. It's not fun, but it's not a deal breaker, right? Like we still have what I think is pretty cool, a good set for the cost. In conclusion, I think I would give this set a three and a half, maybe a four out of five. Like I said, it has a great foundation for a little small little building that you can put in your city or should I say village in our case, it's not very big yet. We're working on it. It just feels a little off to me that it's not complete. There's some pretty glaring misses 
here. Like I said, I think they're all pretty fixable. There's things that we can do as creators ourselves to use this foundation and then take it and build it our own. And I think that's what's cool about the nature of Lego. Like obviously it would be one thing for this to be a complete set. You never have to touch it. You put it in your city. But at the same time, that's kind of opposite of the nature of the toy, right? You're supposed to play with it. You're supposed to be creative, design your own thing. So I almost feel like part of this was on purpose. Part of it was, hey, we're going to give you an item that is not done. And the irony of it is you have to finish it yourself. You have to take what we give you and add to it because it's a Lego store. It is the nature of the toy to be creative and do your own thing and build on top of it, which if you give it that perspective, I think it's a little bit more meaningful and cool. Again, I don't love the stickers. There are some that are pretty easy to place, but the repetition of the one by twos, like I said, they're super cool, but they're just so annoying and they, they add up. It's pretty painstaking, honestly, to try to place every single one of those completely correct. And I know I've probably shown some of my stickers did not get placed straight. They're crooked. The big stickers on the sides here and then also some of the ones on the interior are also not completely straight, but it is what it is. There's 40 stickers. I also, like I said, am a little bit frustrated that there's not a Lego employee, like you can't actually check out. But again, a minifigure adds cost to the set. So to keep costs down, we have two minifigures here, mother and her son. And I think it's a good start, right? If you're going to put this in a city, you're, you're going to have other minifigures that you can do and or use and utilize this cool set. There are details that are super cool with this set. It may be from the stickers, but it is super cool. The picker brick wall is one of my favorite, most colorful parts of this set, but that's because I really enjoy the pick a brick wall at the Lego store. It's fun to like find all the little pieces or elements that you know you have projects for that you want to work on. I also like the ode to like the Disney castle and then some of the other like more popular sets being the ones that are used on the shelves like the city and the Ninjago sets. Like the ideas set, there's the fossils and stuff. So that's pretty cool. But for $36.99, I think this is a really pretty good set. I I would probably get a second one, honestly, just to like build onto this one. And it's 500 pieces. So for that price, I think the value's there. I just think it is lacking completion, which is fine. Like I said, it's up to you to finish it. Would I have liked to see things be done differently? Yes. But I don't want to take away the fact that they did some really cool things with this set. And I don't want to discount that it's actually a pretty cool piece to add to your city. So that's why I gave it a three and a half slash four out of five because it's missing details, but it's mostly there. And there's the ability for you to finish it, but it's not a five. It's not complete. You have to do that yourself. So that's the review of the Lego brand store. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you did like it, consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.